What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. So if you guys have ever played a game called XCOM Enemy Unknown, do you know just how great, fun, and addicting this RTS adventure is? It's a, kind of a game where you, it looks kind of like a third person, but it's really not. You position your players throughout the map and you have them do certain things to progress through the map. And it's a really fun game. I actually have it on PlayStation 3. And uh, I was pretty excited to hear this news of XCOM 2 coming. Uh, it seemed really ambitious. I saw the trailer for it. It looked like it'd be a really nice new fun RTS to play, and I love real-time strategy games, but unfortunately, XCOM 2 is only coming to the PC. Only to the PC. Now, that's it kind of hit me as a surprise when I heard this news, and I had to figure out why, because I couldn't understand why they would make a game that did so well on iOS and on uh, home consoles, PlayStation 3s, and Xbox 360s, why they would only port it to the PC. And so I went and looked around, found an article on PCGamer.com, and they actually talked about uh, why they're doing this. And the creative director, Jake Solomon, said, quote, when we have our meetings, when we talk about stuff, we only talk about PC. Uh, we talk about what is this experience like on the PC? What does the mouse feel like in this experience? The UI is being optimized to more effectively support mouse and keyboard controls, and in fact, the current plan is to launch without support for controllers. More on-screen tactical information will also be provided since the assumption is that players will be sitting closer to their monitors than they would be a television, and will thus be able to read smaller text. XCOM 2 will offer other improvements as well, including physics-based rendering, more visually impressive destruction, and uh, procedurally generated maps. Quote, to do that, we had to use all of our studio expertise, and our expertise here is PC, Solomon said. That's our home, and that's where we're really comfortable. The Xbox One and PlayStation 4 should have the power to run the game, but developing for multiple platforms simultaneously just isn't something Firaxis can do. And even if we did come to those platforms, it would almost certainly be without support for mods, one of the game's biggest selling points. We're certainly not opposed to a console release, Solomon said, but I can assure you that's something we're not even discussing yet. XCOM 2 is currently expected to be ready for release in November. If I had to wager, I would say at some point this game is going to come to consoles. As a console gamer, it's unfortunate that a developer of a game that's this prestigious would actually consider only coming to PC, but it is a little, it, it feels disjointed, the fact that they wouldn't even include controller controls on a PC, because not everybody is, you know, uh, that good with a keyboard and mouse. I know personally, I was playing DayZ today, it, it really, I, it takes a lot for me to get used to that whole control, the WASDA setup, and, um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. XCOM Enemy Unknown 2 coming to the PC only. It's kind of a downer. Are you going to be picking this game up? Is it even on your radar? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, show some support by hitting that thumbs up. Share the video on social networks and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.